We're at uh, Western Moles and Chainsaws again to pick up a unique mower. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. I did mention a couple of vlogs ago that I wanted to sharpen this roto cart attachment. See, it's got these two blades sandwiched together. They rotate in opposite directions and uh, cut the grass in a nice scissor-like action, which is what you want. You like a nice cut on the grass as opposed to a tear. The grass rebounds quicker. It's better for the health of the plant, looks better. Uh, but these are very blunt. I'm gonna take it apart and see if we can sharpen it. Uh, and we're gonna be using nothing but this right angle die grinder. Hopefully that's enough. Well, there we go, 13 mil bolt, comes off easy. Got this little cup. Make sure I keep everything in the right order. You can stay there. How are ya? Dust off in there. Not that that's doing a lot. But here's our two blades that sandwich against each other and like I said, they rotate in opposite directions. And that's how they cut the grass. I'm gonna get in there on those blades with this uh, right angle die grinder. See if that tidies them up. I don't know how they recommend to do it, but this is what I'm doing. How do we wanna go for RPM? More is more? Now as always, if I'm doing this wrong, feel free to tell me. Now I probably should be getting a file and doing the back of these, but I haven't really got anything good enough for it. So that'll have to do. Let's put this thing back together. All right, we've got it back together. Now I did notice, as long as I've had this, so I got it, it's got a bit of wobbles about it while it's, the blade seems to, uh, while it's in use. Just eyeballing the blades, it didn't look like they were warped or anything. So I don't know if it's anything in the head, but if you've got any ideas, let me know. Initially, I thought it was just me, but the longer I've used it, the more evident it's become. Surely we can go cut something. What we got? I feel like it's cutting better. Look at that. Nice cut there. Well, I'm gonna call the right angle die grinder with the disc on it a success. Maybe it's a bit small for blades, like mower blades. That'll work. Might see if I can revive these flogged out blades from the uh, grass shears that I use. Very hard to get into these, and you can't pull them apart because they're riveted there. You just have to be very careful maybe. Will this work? I don't know. You can see how hard it is though to get access to the blades without touching another one while you're doing it. And I've got to say these were pretty thrashed out, so even if they're slightly sharper, you now they have to throw them out, I guess that's a win. Pretty simple, it's helped a lot of people out. Go check it out. Just going to pick up a mower and uh, going through a torrential downpour. 
So somehow we got through that messy, messy storm. It's turned into a crappy day. This looks like it's set in. Ugh. Took me that long to get here because of the rain. Uh, I won't have a lot of time for window shopping, unfortunately. We're at uh, Western Moles and Chainsaws again to pick up a unique mower. Plenty to look at. Ooh. Now that would be fun for picking up grass, bagging it straight into there. Cool machine. I think this Husqvarna battery trimmer is the next one I'm going to try. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. Good to see you. Yeah, what's going on? Not much. Trying to stay dry. So here's what we're picking up. The rotor roller. These are self-propelled, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are self-propelled. So this has no rear wheels. It has a uh, rear roller, which I will show you a bit more of later. Well, there you go. Look, how good is it having an assistant? Wow, okay. So it's still your same standard system with your uh, standard mower blades. Yeah. So just run a standard little 18 inch flat system blade. Um, 163cc bridge and straighten engine. So, well, you can't go wrong with one of these things. Very, very cool. Have you sold many of them? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Uh, alloy deck. Alloy. Alloy, so that's the Hmm, okay. Oh, God, okay. I wish this rain would. Uh, I guess I can park there, eh? Yeah? Alright, let's get under the cover so we can load it up. So this mower will put stripes in your lawn if you've seen that sort of look, if you like that sort of look. Generally you've got to use a cylinder mower for that, but uh, this is a rotary mower with a rear roller on it oh, for that striped look. Now it's great that I'm picking it up from Western Mowers because it means I don't have to deal with the box because I have far too much cardboard at home to get rid of. So I'll be doing a full review for Turf and Tools. Whoop. I actually reached out to Massport to ask about trying this because I'd seen a few people asking about it. Hey! <laughs> ah, hate and life! <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, I didn't think that through. Yeah. Normally I whack the ramps under, I'll have to put them at the back. Ah, uh, I've got a uh, wheel locker. Thanks heaps. So there we go, we loaded up. As always, the guys here very helpful. We're gonna see how stripy we can get my backyard to start with. I've got another lawn that I can try it on, which I was meant to mow three days ago, but this weather's been playing havoc. So that's it, the Massport Rotor Roller. Definitely a bit different. Still raining, it must have. We must have got a bit here. I was very keen to mow today. This is probably three days after the last lawn update. Filling out nicely, very nicely. I'll show you how it looked about 12 days ago. Sir Grange is looking a little robbed of color. Now it is such a tease when you've got a new mower to try and it's raining. And this one is particularly for out the back, which the drainage out there is pretty terrible, so it's really not a good idea to mow there today. Uh, we're just gonna have to be patient, I think. Look, they look like twins. They're not, but they, they look like twins. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm